Oh, it's terrible because I just recorded the whole thing without realizing that the recording button wasn't on on the camera. So let's try this again. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is John. Today we're going to talk about two things that you are really going to need to keep in the back of your head while you are preparing for the SAT or ACT or anything in the matters of like learning in terms of knowledge. So. It could be applied to science, it could be applied to math class, social studies, to anything, like any kind of learning that you do, you're going to need to have these two things, these two things back of your head to make sure you're going the right direction. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get to the, so it's, so it's as called, um, as people call it, the expert level. Okay. So when it comes to SAT, I'm just going to talk about SAT for now. When it comes to SAT, there's reading, writing, and math section. and it all applies to these three sections and the two components that you must be aware of is first is called concepts the second one is called very cool thank you okay when it comes to raising your score there are two components these two things right here and if one is lacking your, your score's not gonna go up. If you have great concepts, but you lack critical thinking, it's not gonna go up. If you're a great thinker, you're, you're good at critical thinking, but if you're lacking concept, it's just, no, it's just not gonna work out. It's not either or situation, you have to have both of them, okay? So let me give you a quick example on, I don't know, let's say math section, okay? So let's say on SAT, um, let's say a question like this shows up. Let's say, oh, that's pretty hard to see. Okay, let's say this kind of question shows up. <laughs> Terrible triangle. This kind of question shows up. Okay. So let's say if there's a right triangle right here, and let's say there's side length is two, four, and the question is asking you to find out what this angle is right there. So when most people see this question, it's probably gonna be a level the level four to level five question in terms of SAT math section. And when most people see this question, there are two things that are going to happen. First, they're, they're going to know exactly what the question is testing. Or second, they're not even going to know where to start. If you fall under the second category, that's because you're missing one of these two things. Okay, so let me explain this question to you. So first of all, this concept is going to be special right triangles. Okay, and you're gonna need to use some critical thinking to kind of twist this concept around and apply to this question and that's gonna get you toward the answer. So let me explain to you how this question can be solved. So side length over here is two, side length over here is four, and that is a right triangle, right? So if it's a right triangle on the SAT, it, there's a very high chance that the question is testing special right triangles, right? So if you look at, uh, as I mentioned, concept is testing is special right triangle, okay? So if you think of special right triangles, there's two types, 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90. So let's look at 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90. So I'm gonna create, erase these things. Let me have space here. Okay. So as you guys know, 30, 60, 90 has a certain ratio, and so does 45, 45, 90. So if you look at 30, 60, 90 triangle, um, let's say this is 30, let's say this is 60, and this is 90. And the side length ratios are x, x root 3, and 2x, right? So that is the constant you would need. So let's look at this question. It doesn't give you any angle on this question except for the right angle, right? But without the angles, it also gives you the two side lengths, right? And if you look at it carefully, you know that these two side lengths are just like these two right here. That's is equal to x, that's equal to 2x. And how are people able to recognize this? You have to have the concepts. Without having the concepts straightened out in your head, you won't be able to recognize that this is 2 and times 2 here, right? So that's what I mean by you need to have both the concept and the critical thinking both to a um, same level or like a good enough level to achieve high scores. So. Let's, what's let's see what's happening to most of the people, most of the students. Okay, so coming back to the whole concept and critical thinking. Okay, 
Let's say we have student one. Student one is good with concept, but likes critical thinking, okay? So what that would look like is the person knows the 30, 60, 90 triangle. It's all in their head. Like if you ask them, hey, what's the side length ratio and what makes it 30, 60, 90, they're gonna tell you this on the back of their head. They're gonna know exactly what it is. But because they lack critical thinking, they're not gonna know how to twist this information and apply it to this question, okay? The second type of student is someone who's very good with cons I mean, someone who's very good with critical thinking, their brain's spinning really quickly and they, they just, they're just naturally smart, but they just don't have any concepts in their head. So because you don't know what special right triangles are, when you see this, you don't even know where to start. That's what's happening. Okay. So ask yourself, when you see a question, do you know where to start? If not, you're probably lacking critical. I mean, if you're, you're probably lacking concepts. That's why it's so important for you to start studying concepts first before you jump into practice exams, because you're not going to know how to solve any of these questions. Does that make sense? So the point I want to make across in this video is don't make the same mistake that a lot of people made, including myself back in high school. I, I, I would just grab SAT books, SAT practice tests, and just crunch, crunching out just practice exams. And I was just, I just believed that my score's gonna go up like the more exams I take. It's going to happen. It's gonna, your score's definitely gonna go up because you're, you're practicing. See, you're, as you do more practice, your critical thinking's gonna go up. But as I mentioned, if you're just doing practice exams, you're just completely ignoring the concepts. Concepts are not there. Only your critical thinking is going up. So if there's a new concept that you haven't seen before on the next exam, you're not going to be able to get that question, even though your critical thinking is very high, because you don't have any concepts. Does that make sense? This is such an important idea you need to have back back of your head. Same thing for writing section. Let's say there is a question about subject verb agreement, right? But if you don't have a strong understanding of subject verb agreement or subject pronoun agreement, you're never going to get that question right. And that's why it's so important to, for you to study concepts first before jumping into practice exams. Does that make sense? So to summarize this video, I'll just summarize it in one sentence to make it super simple. Ask yourself, do you know all the concepts that show up on the SAT? If the answer is yes, then you have to do practice exams and get your critical thinking up. But if your critical think if your concept is not set in stone yet, grab SAT books, prep books, College Panda, um, Princeton Review, Kaplan, get, grab, grab these books and start learning concepts. Don't worry about time management. Don't worry about getting every single question right. Just get, get started with knowing all the concepts first. That's your first step. If you try to go, if you try to cut corners and go straight to practice exams, you're never going to improve. You might improve, but it's going to be super slow and you're not even going to improve that much. I can guarantee you that. I've been through that myself. A lot of my past students have, through that, have gone through that themselves too. And it's just a waste of time. And as you know, if you're in high school and if you're like a junior or senior, you don't have much time left. You're super busy. Application, everything, AP classes. You don't have any time to waste. So guys, if there's one thing that you can take away from this video, make sure you do conscious first and then go to practice exams. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.